today we're going to visit some of your questions from YouTube. We got questions coming in on our videos that we're going to go ahead and answer for you today. So our next question comes in from Dexter Miranda. He writes, my 2014 Ram 67 has an actuator failure. I was getting 14 pounds of boost at best. I replaced the oil and used three quarts of Marvel Mystery Oil and I got an increase of three PSI with the new oil from August. A new actuator is expensive. I saw your video on how turbo fins fit into a slot and I'm wondering if that may be what's going on with mine. Well, on that, that particular turbo, um, when we're looking at um, what kind of, what, what part does oil play in this uh, diagnosis here, um, that turbo is only going to use the oil for lubrication of the bearings. Um, if we've got a situation where the lubrication of the bearings um, increases 3 PSI by putting Marvel Mystery Oil in it, uh, we got big problems with that turbocharger. So um, my guess is that might be coincidence and the oil really doesn't have a lot to do with it. So uh, put the oil aside for right now and go back to finding out what's going on with your turbo. Um, so with that turbo, your uh, engine control module is, um, is taking input from a bunch of sensors and it's telling the engine that, hey, I need more air. Uh, so it sends a signal out to the, to the actuator that says, all right, put me in a position where I can generate more air. Um, if you've got a mechanical problem uh, going on inside your turbo, uh, carbon buildup, bent vanes, uh, something of that nature, where the mechanical portion of the turbo cannot physically move because of an obstruction. Uh, your engine is telling that actuator, you gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move, but it can't move. So it's very likely that it could burn up the actuator uh, due to a base turbo problem. Uh, so what we wanna do is number one, you can hook the actuator up to, to the computer with it disconnected from, uh, from the turbocharger and you can test the actuator, see what's going on with it. Um, the next thing is uh, take, take the lever, uh, the sector gear on your turbocharger, make sure it moves freely from stop to stop. If it doesn't move freely, we gotta get the turbocharger off there. Um, you can potentially take the exhaust housing off your turbocharger, make sure you mark it so you know where it goes back on, and determine if the vein pack is damaged or broken. Uh, you, you can have bent fins in it and it, it may not fit through the shroud plate. Uh, you can have such carbon buildup on it that it just can't move through the shroud plate. Uh, so that would be the next step in trying to determine what exactly is going on there. Um, it could be either one of those pieces causing you issues with low boost pressure but um, you gotta get, the, hey, is it, is it electrical, is it mechanical, or is it both? Uh, either one of those situations could be the problem with this particular turbocharger. So it's kind of dig in and, and see what you got there. So hopefully answering these questions helped you to get your engine back on the road. If you need parts or assistance, give us a shout at 844-447-1453 and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on Facebook and YouTube to stay up to date with the latest from Highway and Heavy Parts. From diagnosis through delivery, we're Highway and Heavy Parts.